Hello everyone. Welcome to final video of this REST API series. My name is Jairaj and thanks for joining again. So till now in our amazing journey, we have seen many important topics with some examples and uh, I try to cover very basic things about REST APIs. And we have discussed all major segments of REST including uh, guidelines of how to use them. So this is last tutorial of this series that doesn't mean this uh, small video series have covered everything. So there are uh, many major stuffs left. Uh, we didn't even touch them such as hate OS is there, versioning is there, security and documentation is there. I didn't cover them here because this series was intended to focus on beginner levels and uh, we will cover them in future series when we will discuss advance of uh, REST APIs. So in this video, I will share my final thoughts about REST API and uh, my suggestions on general stuff. So first thing I wanted to talk about is uh, coding style. So our computing world or more specifically our programming world is having little bit chaos I can say. So if you go in industry you will find people who have been working or coding from last 30 years and you will find people who just started like 30 days back. So there is a huge difference between these developers. I mean, I mean to say everyone is different, everyone have different coding style or we can say different way of working. And it is not a good or bad thing I am not judging here but every team have different way of doing stuff. And this difference can create the chaos. So if you are currently working in industry, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you are going to work soon, then ready for that because I can see the, that kind of uh, thing every day. And if you see around you rapid change in our technology with continuous updation in the frameworks and programming language and other technologies, it is crucial to become versatile developer that can adapt all the situation. So sometimes as a developer, we get one question. I get this question all the time that uh, how many things I need to learn to become best or to get good job, things like that. So if we think uh, technology and programming language will change all the time, it's going to change every time. But the one thing that won't change is the basic fundamentals or we can say basic computing fundamentals. And if you ask me, according to that is our key for success in this chaos. So this computing fundamentals is very important for us. So my suggestion to you guys is to develop some coding style of your own around this fundamentals and basic computing stuff. And uh, remember that coding style of your own always, no matter which technology you are using, try to follow that. And uh, this programming style can change with time when you will learn more and more about this computing things. So let me show you an example and this is what I follow when I create any API. And uh, here I am taking a Spring Boot example, so sorry for other folks but they can still learn from this. So we know that uh, every time we create API, that API should give a proper response, including proper response codes. And also we should always handle exceptions to prevent the other errors. So this exception handling is also very important for any system. So what I do here is I start my API like this, where I, I handle all the exceptions on the controller layer only. And I create final response in controller. I never create uh, this final response in our service. So let's say client call our API and a request comes to our controller. Then this controller redirect that request to service and then service redirect that uh, request to repository if a database call needed. And then repository get data from server and it return that data to service. Then service will do some necessary processing on that data and then that finally generated data will come to controller. And this controller will give the final response to the client. So if you see here in my controller, I create this final uh, response in controller. So first thing is I never created final response entity in server class or any other internal layers. So response uh, coming from internal layers will be data always. So if you see this service, this get task function, it is returning map. And I am using this map here to create the final response. I never create this final response outside of this controller class. So controller will use this data and merge with the response entity and proper response code and this response code I am taking based on the situation what is happening. And another thing is I never handle exception on service layer. I always handle exception on control layer. So here if you can see I have try and catch block in controller and inside this service I am throwing this exception always. So benefit of uh, using this approach is let's say I need to create one more API and this one is get I need to create a post one. Then I don't need to remember anything else because I have created this structure so many times now that I know this uh, syntax like back of my hand or I can just use it as a template and copy this and paste it. 
and uh, I can change necessary stuff here something like here I can put post and then I can change this function name and stuff like that so this way it is easy to remember and I can give more time in writing better algorithms and logic so I don't need to waste time in creating this structure or thinking about what is what should I do where should I handle this and another benefit is that uh, as I said I only handle exception in controller so all other functions in service will throw an exception so in future let's say I need to reuse this uh, get task function in some other controller or in some other place then at, over there I can create my own uh, exception handler again and uh, the user of this function will also know that this function can do this kind of stuff so this is a better way to do that so I'm not saying this is the only way or this is the best way to do this there is multiple ways but I like this way so this is one of the example how we can uh, remember good approach of writing better code and writing faster code so I'm saying create your own coding style including basic fundamentals and use them always and the second thing I wanted to tell is uh, about this technology rest so rest is a huge and uh, we know our computing world is continuously evolving especially internet related uh, technologies and every after some time we are getting new framework or some pro uh, programming language or something like that so it is possible that uh, after some time these videos will become outdated and also people like me who is creating videos and trying their best to bring uh, this stuff in video but they can't keep up with this continuously changing technology and uh, and additionally everyone have different ability of learning and understanding so possibly you will find some of the things in video could be wrong or not entirely correct so i'm not uh, trying to scare you guys by saying everything is wrong on the internet or everything is wrong on the video but i'm saying is everything on internet is not necessarily true every time so best way to learn or keeping ourselves updated is to self learn so these videos are the first step in learning and once you get used to it keep your eyes open for updated uh, things especially for your working area so basically be the best in your field so my final thought is to be the best in your field by keep learning so here i'm ending this rest api beginner series and uh, that's all for now and don't forget to subscribe because another amazing series is on the way and uh, don't forget to put your questions and suggestions in comment box and like and share with your friends so we can all be the best in our field by keep learning thank you very much